A local man was arrested for a crime that he did not commit, and his reputation was ruined. He just wants his life back, but that's been easier said than done. He's been cleared of the crime, but to clear his name, he had to get Marty. It's the modern day scarlet letter, the mugshot. It's your face, it's your name. It cries out you are guilty of a serious crime. But what if you're not? Guilty, that is. I want everybody to know the truth. The truth. Rex Kokenauer is an innocent man. He's 62, never arrested. Not a ticket, not a fine, nothing until September 15th. Attempted rapist, murder, or whatever. Horrible person. How horrible? The police report lays it out. Aggravated assault, robbery, indecent assault, and aggravated assault of unborn child. You've been labeled as a criminal. Yes. According to police, Rex approached a young pregnant woman here at this Arlington Avenue convenience store about 1 a.m. September 15th. The victim told police a homeless man asked her to go back to his tent so that the two could party. The victim says the suspect followed her down Arlington Avenue where he attacked her. He punched her in the face. The victim was bleeding from the nose. He tried to pull off her pants. She believed he was trying to rape her. Police found the pregnant victim missing her shirt. She was covered in fresh blood standing here near the Liberty Bridge. I was coming out of the library at 1 o'clock. I just made an email. Rex described library rat. He's working on his MBA at Duquesne University. That night, no different. He shut down the library at 1 a.m., strolled across to this campus convenience store. Yeah, regular night for me. Rex bought a snack, walked towards his south side apartment. He never got there. I was about roughly here, I'd say, where they stopped me. He was handcuffed, searched. He stood in the street. An ambulance pulled up. A woman jumped out. I could barely see her getting out. Remember, the victim had just been beaten. She was covered in blood. She had concerns for her unborn child. According to Rex, from nearly 500 feet away, in the dark, now nearly 1.30 in the morning, he was identified as the attacker. She told police, yes, that's him. So you're standing here, the woman, Mike. Right up there, way up there, yeah. on that corner. According to Rex, this is where the victim jumped out of the ambulance to identify him. He says the police officer held up a flashlight from here and pointed it in his direction. Apparently, she identified him. He was cuffed and taken to jail. He asked the police officer to take him to the Duquesne Library, to the convenience store, where witnesses could vouch for him. I told him, I begged him, I said, the store's going to close. The girl would remember me. Instead, Rex was taken here, the Allegheny County Jail. Bail was set at $80,000. He's broke. He didn't see a lawyer for two weeks. He sat in isolation on suicide watch. He was probably looking at the rest of his life in jail. Public defender David James never believed Rex committed the crime. It was, it was pretty quick where it was, yeah, this guy didn't do this. James got a tip from Rex's sister about videotapes in the Duquesne library at the campus convenience store that could clear him, prove his innocence, prove he was on campus at the time of the attack several miles away, and they did. This surveillance tape shows Rex. He's got the big white bag. The tape shown to a judge, shown to the victim, cleared his name. The charges were dropped. An innocent man in jail for more than a month. Now, a few days after his release, Rex was arrested again, thrown in jail again, charged with defiant trespass. Because of this incident, he was arrested again. Attorneys say he was arrested here at the Pitt Business School. His mugshot had been circulated. He was banned from the campus at Pitt and Duquesne. It was this Facebook message that got us involved. Dear Marty, my close friend has been wrongfully arrested twice. He is in desperate need of your help. When I see a police car getting up, I start shaking anymore. Our first step, legal help. Eyewitness identifications are, are inherently flawed and uh, they're not reliable. Attorney Maggie Coleman is blown away by the facts of this case. We'll sit down with Rex ASAP to determine if there is a civil case here. Convinced police dropped the ball here. Not only did they not arrest the right person, they got somebody in jail who's completely innocent, but the person who actually did this crime, the person who actually beat up this pregnant woman and left her injured and bleeding on the street, that person is still out there somewhere. They never caught him. As for Rex, we will also get him representation for his second criminal case. All of this leaving him wondering, where does he go to get his name back? They used to say innocent until proven guilty. And some people say maybe guilty until proven innocent. But I think now I'm feeling it's guilty even after you're proven innocent. Well, Pittsburgh police say their detectives discovered and retrieved the video that set Rex free, contrary to what the public defender's office says. And Rex's family and Rex is telling me. They also tell me there is no suspect in the attack of the pregnant woman. They promise they are actively.
pursuing the case. Marty, this is kind of one of those things like you see in a movie. I mean, it's it, crazy. It, it is, wow. It's frightening yeah. when wow. you really get right down it's to so it. so frustrating. Yeah, it really is. Uh, and what really is, is disturbing to me is, is then the second arrest. I mean, can he go back on the campuses at all? Is he going to be able to continue his education? Well, he was supposed to be back on the campus at that point because yeah. he was cleared. And he, he went into a building and he gets arrested because his mugshot's floating around. I mean, it's crazy stuff. Yeah, it's it so really frustrating. Is. And, well, you know, and you think, why did it take so long? Why did he sit in jail video. for a month? Yeah. yeah. Is, well, I got to mention this, though. Uh, he lost a semester. Right. At school, which is yeah. a lot of money. So, without getting into the details of financials, which Duquesne University is not allowed to do, they do tell me that there are special circumstances where they do create exceptions and allow folks to get another semester when there's an issue like this. And he's working on his MBA. Yes, he is. Right. And he's a wonderful guy. And it's a Scary, scary, oh, it's, it's scary. It really is frightening. Mm. I mean, because you just never know, you I guess. Don't. Yeah. Marty, thank you. Marty, sure. thanks so much. Well, hey, if you have a problem and you want to get some help and get Marty, you can send an email to get Marty at KDKA.com or call 412 575 2244.